Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. In today's video, I thought I would make a honeycomb home. Honeycomb? Honey? Honeycone home. There we go. I got it eventually. So this is what a honeycomb usually looks like. I thought it would be such a cool idea to actually build a house in Bloxburg that's in the shape of a honeycomb. So let's get started. Okay, so firstly, we have to build the outside of the honeycomb. I don't know how I'm going to do this, but um, we, we will figure it out. Okay, this is kind of what like a honeycomb looks like in like the cartoon version. So if we do something similar to that, I think it would turn out good. Okay, and I think I'm just going to set up all the rooms to be four by four. Okay, I don't know if this is working. I'm kind of just fluking it and then one last room up the top here and then i'll put the floor in and hopefully it'll turn out good <gasps> okay that is the honeycomb shape all complete that actually worked out better than expected obviously there's only going to be four rooms so down here's going to be the kitchen here's going to be the living area bathroom slash toilet and then up here will be my bedroom so we'll add some details we'll add some pillars in that to make it look more fancy also i don't really know what style i'm going to do the house <laughs> So I kind of will just make it up as I go. Okay, so let's firstly work on the kitchen. <gasps> Wait, should I make the house like yellow? Like a honey? Absolutely not. I just seen what I had to see. And I will never be doing a yellow house in Bloxburg. Okay, I'm thinking them was for the kitchen. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm thinking like a Japanese style home. Like something like this. Very minimalistic. I swear it takes me like five minutes to find the light that I actually like in Bloxburg. $6,000 should I get it? Absolutely not. I'm never actually ever going to use this kitchen, so I'll just get the 4000 That's still a lot of money, but it's fine. Okay, now I'm just going to put some cabinets up the top here. Maybe the rustic cabinets would look kind of cute. Okay, that's it for the cabinets. I think I'm just going to leave them white because if I paint them dark, it's just going to be too dark in here and we do not want that. Okay, now we need some counters. Yes, that's what they're called. Okay, that's actually coming along good. I just need to fill out these cabinets and put some stuff on the top shelf and it'll actually look decent. Okay, and if you know me, you know that I love hanging plants. So you best believe that I'm going to have a bunch of plants in this house. All these books are filled with Gordon Ramsay recipes. If there is any other book other than Gordon Ramsay up here, they will be thrown out. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Now we'll just add some finer details to the benches to make them look more homey. Yes, uh, spilt coffee because we love that. You guys are not understand if I spilt coffee on our island bench. Oh, let's just say that's the last time I would be drinking coffee because my mother would murder me. These are my favorite things in Bloxburg. If you didn't know, this is literally my favorite item in Bloxburg. It's just a little light cube. I love him. We we love this man. I take him everywhere with me. He's he's our friend. Okay, and um, I think that's it for the kitchen. And I just have to add a bench in the middle there. Obviously, I don't want to overdo it and add like too many things on top of the benches. And for the table, I kind of want like a little table, but I don't think they have them. So I think I'm just going to do like a custom table. I'm going to be custom making stuff. I'm acting like a professional over here. Like I know what I'm doing. Boom. Like Alaska, that's not even centered. Okay, it's not even centered properly. And you're over here talking about how you're professional. Oh, I love the transform tool. I literally made a whole video explaining like, don't get the transform tool, it's a ripper. <laughs> and I'm over here using it like every single video. But in my defense, if you're not like a very detailed builder, then there's no use of getting it. Okay, that's that's kind of what I want for the table. What should we call this table? I'm gonna call her Shaniqua. Okay, and for the chairs, I actually don't want to put big bulky chairs. I just want to put like little pillows they, these pillows like that are so cute and then i'll obviously change them facing the floor okay and i think the kitchen is done i love the way this table and chair turned out i don't know if i like the walls though i might change them okay i changed the walls so it's a bit more lighter in here but i think that is the kitchen done so let's work on the second room okay i think i want the lounge room here nope i changed my mind i want the lounge room here <laughs> very very indecisive this is where i want the lounge room so let me add some wall trims to make it come together nicely and then we shall get started. I'm thinking of making the floors more detailed so I'll obviously just layer them a few times. So look how beautiful that floor looks. So for this lounge room I actually don't want a TV in here. I just want it to be very open but with no TV. I actually might get rid of these palings and then I'll just add a border over this picture. So how to add borders to your pictures. You just have to use a square beam and then do what I'm doing right here and then you can color the beam whatever color you want. There we go. 
two pictures there and I kind of want there to be like a table here so and now I just need to add some things on this little console table so I'm thinking just like a light and a laptop that way it works as a lounge room but it also works as like a little study nook so that's actually very cute cute little butterfly okay um Alaska what the hell was that oh <gasps> metal spokes coffee table oh my god that is so cute I did not know they added that you know what would look nice in here like a massive rug on the floor so let's do that big fat chunky carpet in the middle and then we put the coffee table in the middle and boom she looks beautiful do we have a succulent plant we do $380 for a succulent Jesus okay I'm thinking if we put the lounge that side because I obviously don't want it blocking off this side and then I have like a little corner lounge in the the corner here you're probably like alaska you made no sense then trust me i will make sense once i'm doing it okay trust my process guys i'm telling you okay and then i put a deck chair like here but color it so it doesn't look like a deck chair i feel like this lounge needs more pillows because it's a bit bare at the moment okay there we go some pillows for the lounge room and i think i'm gonna get rid of this painting and instead i'll just do like three paintings along the wall here like that Okay, and I think that's it for the lounge room. Again, I just wanted to keep it very simple. And obviously, I couldn't add anything on the corners here because it would be blocking the view. But I think that looks decent so far. Oh, we'll put some magazines in the lounge. And we'll also add like a little guitar. Okay, that looks kind of better. Okay, on to the next room. So I think I'm going to do the bathroom next. And then finally, we have my bedroom. So let's do the bathroom. The bathroom is actually pretty big. Um, So we have a lot of space to work with, which is good. Okay, so I want the shower here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add a bath, but we'll just add the shower first and then see how much room we have left. Throughout all of the rooms, I wanna add like a little touch of gold to represent like the honeycomb. I don't know if it'll work out, but I don't know. You never know until you try. Okay, I added some windows here, made it kind of look like a shower, like a shower opening curtain thing. Question for Americans, do you guys all have shower curtains? Because shower curtains are terrifying. I've seen too many horror movies. Something will jump out and destroy you. Okay, I'm actually gonna redo the walls, but make it like a different color, if that makes sense. And I feel like there's gonna be a lot of open space, especially here. Okay, so that's the shower so far, but I feel like it's really dark. So I'm gonna add some lights in the shower, just some LED lights to make it like more bright. Okay, that's a little bit better. And I think I might make an insert there so then I can put like the shampoo and conditioner. There we go. I can add some soap in the shower, so it'll actually look nice. And you know what else we're adding? You guessed it, plants. <laughs> Apparently having like a eucalyptus plant in your shower is like very healthy for you. I don't know how true that is. There we go, that actually looks nice. And I think I'm gonna add some lights in there as well. See, that shower actually looks so good. And I'm thinking we just add the toilet here because there is just an empty space. I'm actually gonna make this toilet gold. That does not look gold, that looks like diarrhea. Okay, now we'll just add the counters and the mirror and I'm pretty sure we're set. Look how cute that sink looks. Are you kidding me? Okay, now I just need to add a mirror. Instead of adding two mirrors, I'm just gonna add this round one because it actually looks nice. And guess what? You guessed it. I'm changing it to gold. The rope is so off center, but I cannot be bothered to change it. That looks so cute. Okay, now I just need to add like a mat. And I think that's it for the bathroom. Obviously, we'll just add some stuff here because I feel like it's a bit empty. You know what we can do? I don't know if this will work out well, but if I add a bathtub in the middle, you know how some places they have the bath in the Middle. See, look how cute that looks. I like the bath in the middle for some reason. I don't know why, I just like it. And at least that way it covers more space as well. Oh my god, you know what we're doing? We're adding honeycomb shelves here. Honeycomb shelves in the honeycomb home. Okay, and just like that, we have our bathroom completed. I actually really like the way this turned out. So let's finally move on to the bedroom. I'm just gonna copy the floor from the lounge room. Okay, we'll add some wardrobe rooms first. Um, okay, wardrobe rooms are completed, and now for the bed. I kind of have like a vague idea for what I want to do for the bedroom. I'm just going to add the bed here and we'll paint this before anything. And then we'll add some pillars on the side here. Wait, she's coming along very well. And now to connect these pillars, we have to use structural beams. And just like that, we have our bed all completed. Now for the lights, you guys are going to laugh. I'm literally going to put my initials, AV, Alaska Violet. Boom, AV on top of the bed, representing over there. Now I have my clothes rack in the corner. So if you want to stack clothes racks, you just have to add a basic shape. So something like that. Boom. 
boom, just like that, we have our clothes. Okay, now I just need some bedside tables. These square bedside tables are my favorite bedside tables ever. I swear I use them for like every build. Okay, I'm gonna add some like geometric chandeliers at the back here. So I feel like it'll turn out really nice. And then add some lamps on the table. Okay, that actually is looking really good so far. I think I might make this wall a feature wall. And by that, I mean make it darker than the rest of it. So it stands out. And we can add like a little stool at the end and like a mat and I think we're set. And I also added some blankets on the bed to make it look more realistic. I don't know why the pillows look so weird. Honestly, I can't be bothered fixing them. Okay, now we just need some carpet and I'm just gonna add like two round carpets at the end here like that. Actually, it looks a bit silly, so I'm just gonna add one. Okay, and I think that is it for the bedroom and I think that's it for the rest of the house. So let's actually check out how this looks like. Oh my God, wait, this actually looks so cute. So, okay, let me fix up the decals and everything and then we shall do a little mini tour. I just realized I need a way for me to get up into the rooms, so... Oh, okay, I can just add ladders. Okay, let me finish the decals and then we shall do a tour. Okay, the house is officially completed and I'm so excited to show you. So firstly, this is the kitchen. I really love the way this kitchen turned out, especially this little custom-made table with the cushions. I think it's just so cute. And if you do the sit emo, it looks like you're actually sitting on the cushions. So yeah, this is the kitchen. I love the way it turned out. And mine these weird looking ladders, but it's the only way for me to actually get up onto the second floor. And then here we have the lounge room slash living area. And I actually really love this living area. I don't know how I feel about this living area. I love it, but I also hate it. I don't know why. But yeah, this is the living area. Let me know what you think or should have added. I like this new coffee table that Blocksburg added as well. And then over here we have the bathroom. Now, I don't know how I feel about this bathtub in the middle of the room but it was just like a massive empty space here and I couldn't have left it empty so I just decided to add a bathtub and here's a toilet with the little mini honeycomb shelves I think that was a cute little touch and then here is the shower I love this shower I think it's my favorite bit of this entire bathroom especially this little insert here that's like very realistic and then finally we have my bedroom with the little AV LED lights on top of here I actually love the way this bedroom turned out obviously I don't want to overdo it and add too much clutter but I think overall it turned out really nicely so yeah that was the honeycomb challenge in Bloxburg let me know which room was your favorite I actually really enjoyed this challenge it was so weird but like I think it turned out pretty good but yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you hit like and if you want to see more content like this make sure you hit subscribe and if you want to potentially be in a future Bloxburg event make sure you join my discord server with the link in my bio bye